That's not what people want to hear. They want to hear that, man, all you got to do is put butter in your coffee, wear these blue blocking glasses, get in an ice bath, sleep four hours a night, and you'll be great. And you can go get it, and everything's just this hustle and go, go, and go. That's not how the world works. That's not how people work. That's not how the machine works. We're the only animal on this planet that sleep deprives itself on purpose. The only other time any other animal will sleep deprive itself is if it's being preyed upon, if it's being stalked, or if it's starving to death. So it can get up earlier, go further, find more novel foods. Since we evolved with the other animals on this planet, and we've been here for hundreds of thousands of years, it's completely reasonable to think that our brain has some wiring to believe that as well. So if we're sleep depriving ourselves, our brain may very well think, I'm in yeah. danger of being killed or eaten, or I'm starving. Let's go eat more. And what do you feel like when you're sleep deprived? Yeah. What yeah. does your body want to do? Hey man, we're going in famine. We need to store some fat. We need a bunch of sugar for the brain. If you're a good American, you'll fry some sugar bread yeah, yeah. and, and uh, drink some coffee and you're going to feel great <laughs> for a few hours. <laughs> And, and people don't understand that, that that literally impacts everything about you. The conversation we're having right now would be negatively impacted by one of us being sleep deprived. My reading of your facial expressions, your reading my facial expressions, what we thought was going on, the words we choose would all change just based on sleep deprivation. And that's the minor part. Not to mention you do that over a lifetime. What does that do to your overall health?